Now that you're familiar with the basic accounting equation, we're going to look at the expanded accounting equation. So let's start with what we already know, our ALO, or assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity, knowing that all business transactions are summarized into this formula and the accounting equation must always remain in balance. So let's review. Assets, we know those are resources that are owned or controlled by a company, and we have some examples of common assets. Examples include cash, AR or accounts receivable, money that the company is expecting to receive from its customers, NR or notes receivable, which again is money that, a, that the company is expecting to receive, but these are different from accounts receivable in that it's usually for a larger amount and that there's interest charged on the amount. A company's supplies, equipment, if the company has any vehicles, buildings, or land. All those are examples of a company's assets. What about liabilities? We remember that those were claims on the company's assets from external parties. Well, what are some examples? Some examples are AP, or accounts payable, money that the company owes to other people, and then NP, or notes payable, which again is money the company owes to an outside party, but very similar to notes receivable, notes payable are larger in amount, and there tends to be interest involved. We will cover more types of examples of liabilities in the later chapters, but for this chapter, these are the two main examples you'll be seeing. Owner's equity. Well, before we can get to any examples, we have to expand the owner's equity section. Owner's equity is made up of four subcategories, or common stock, dividends, revenues, and expenses. All of these items affect an owner's claim on the company's assets. Common stock, also known as contributed capital or capital stock, increase the owner's equity. That's amounts that the owner has invested. Dividends, those are payments from the company to the owner. Revenue, well that's basically all the income that the company is generating through its sales of its products or selling, selling of its services. And then lastly we have expenses which are the costs necessary to run the business. Examples might include rent expense, utilities, salaries, anything that's needed to keep that business up and running. So again, common stock can also be called contributed capital or capital stock. And the sum of these three categories, the remaining three categories, dividends, revenues, and expenses, make up a company's retained earnings or its comprehensive income since it was um, incorporated. Hopefully this has been helpful. Again, just like your basic accounting equation, you're going to need to be familiar with this. So just remember the four subcategories of owner's equity being common stock, dividends, revenues, and expenses. And also know how they affect owner's equity. Common stock increases owner's equity, dividends decreases it, Revenues increase owner's equity and expenses decrease owner's equity.